Hey guys, it's me Carrie. How are you? Today is January 4th and it is actually really beautiful here in New York. It's pretty mild. It's like around 50. I wish it was colder and felt more like winter, but the skies are clear. It's not raining anymore. It was pouring rain yesterday and um, I guess I can't really complain. Um, they're predicting possibly that we'll be getting some snow on Friday and the temps are going to go down. So yeah, I'm stoked about that. And yes, I'm wearing my new Griswold family Christmas shirt that I hauled yesterday. Oh, here it is. They hauled yesterday from, uh, there it is, uh, from Walmart for a big whopping $2.47. Even though it's after Christmas, I was stoked to wear it. And I think it's cute and what the hell. So I'm wearing it. Okay, and I had to stop fucking with my hair. Anyway, um, I'm here because I got a friend mail and I'm really excited. Um, my super awesome, amazing friend Jen, who is uh, here on YouTube at Beetle Babe, go check her out. She's got an awesome, awesome channel. Sub her and like her shit because she's awesome. But anyway, um, she had told me she was going to send me a little surprise and I'm so excited. So I'm going to slice this bed boy open and see what she sent me. I'm super stoked. Um, I've known Jen now for maybe two or three months, um, but we just started talking more recently, like um, on Facebook and stuff, and she's just such a sweet person. And even just in our comments to each other's uh, YouTube videos, we've been having some good conversations, and she's just such an awesome, awesome person. I wish we lived closer, because even though we're both kind of like hermity type people. <laughs> I think if we lived in the same town that maybe we could like encourage each other and like go out and eat for coffee or something. But anyway, I digress. But I love you, Jen. And whatever this is, I love it because it's from you. So thank you. Let me see. Oh, there's a couple things in here. Oh, she's so awesome. All right, girl. I'm making my day. This is one wrapped in cute bit tissue. Nice, nice, nice. I'm so excited. And I love when people take the time to wrap stuff. I'm so bad about that. I First of all, I suck at wrapping, like wrapping gifts. I'm all about the gift bags because I'm not good with wrapping paper. But even wrapping things in tissue, I try to make it look cute, but it usually looks like a, you know, four-year-old did it with like one hand and yeah, it's not pretty. But anyway, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I actually worked in for FAO Schwartz back in the day. Um, it's actually FAO Schwartz is the proper pronunciation, but everybody calls it Schwartz. Like, may the Schwartz be with you. I don't know. It's not affiliated with Spaceballs. And again, I'm digressing. But um, but anyway, I worked not at the, the, the like flagship store in, in New York City and on Fifth Avenue, which is, I can't even believe is closed now. It's such an iconic place. But anyway, I worked at a little mall location when they were doing that for a while. Um, gosh, probably 20 years ago now, maybe, something like that. Um, but anyway, they actually like taught you like proper gift wrapping techniques because we did offer free gift wrapping and even then I was a mess. Epic fail. <gasps> ooh, 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 it's Disney. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my gosh. It is a Stitch Tsum Tsum bracelet. I kept wanting to go to the Disney store because they were doing, it says right on here, summer play days. There were different days that you could go to the Disney store and you could get these awesome bracelets and I kid you not I literally never remembered to go I would always be at the mall on a different day never the day that they were doing these and I never got one but she knows I love stitch so much he's my very favorite and putting it on right now and I know it's gonna fit it's probably meant to be sized for a kid but usually I can get the kid size to fit me oh it's perfect because it's not like I mean it goes it's plenty of give but it's not like one of the ones that like completely falls down my arm because it's ginormous. I don't know if this is adult size or kid size. It doesn't say, I don't think on it, but I freaking love it. Thank you so much, Jen. There he is up close. I love it. I'm so excited because this wrist is bare right now. I always have bracelets on this wrist. Always, always, always. Um, there are some that I never take off. This one I don't take off. This is a wishing bracelet that I got from my dear friend Jay, aka Pook. That's what we call each other. 
and it's got seven little like clover flower things and you make a wish on each one and the idea is that you tie it on you never take it off and when it breaks and falls off your wishes come true i did one of these in the past i made the same seven wishes they're very like general wishes so i never really technically know if it's working or not but it's the things that i want most in life so i keep wishing for the same seven things but anyway that never comes off this one i just got very recently as part of my Christmas gifts from my dear friend Jackie, aka Monk, which is short for Monkin because she loves monkeys and I think Monkin is cuter, so I call her Monk. This one, um, I know this is supposed to be a friend mail video, not like Carrie's bracelet collection, but I'm showing you anyway. This one um, I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, this is a size medium. They make these, this brand is called Roxo. They make all these rubber wristband bracelets and I was so stoked. I hope you can see that is Vanellope von schweetz from wreck it ralph i can almost never find anything wreck it ralph anywhere and i bought a separate one at another uh dollar tree that had no actually i think i bought this elsa one at um ac Moore. but you can take the charms off the bracelets and put them on the same bracelets so that's what i did this piece sign one i got with my mom i think um at a street fair maybe these three are pura vita bracelets um it's one of my favorite companies i buy from them all the time a lot of the bracelets um, are, well, the company basically, it helps employ um, people in Costa Rica who would not necessarily be able to find full-time jobs. So they do that, which is fabulous, but they also donate par a portion of the proceeds from a lot of the bracelets they sell to different causes. And this one happens to be for a charity called Karma Cat Zen Dog, because I love animals. This one is for depression awareness. I don't know the specific charity they give it to, but it is related to depression and mental illness. And this one is my, um, the very first one I ever got. This one is for the Joyful Heart Foundation, which was founded by um, Mershka Hargitay, who you may know from Law and Order SVU, and it helps benefit victims of sexual violence. So very important causes to me. And pretty much the only one of these I ever take off is um, this one. It's gone from wrist to wrist. These three never come off. This one I've had on for a while. I haven't taken it off since I put it on, but I, I would like if I didn't want to have too, too much business going on. The one from Jackie has been on since I got it and this one never comes off. So basically these four never, never come off. And these three have just been on for a while now. But anyway, okay. But now I have this wrist going with my awesome stitch. Yay, I'm so stoked, Jen. She's, she's got to know that I'm like totally going to nerd out over it because I love stitch. And she's so thoughtful to be aware of that and hook her girl up. Yay. All right, let's see what this one is. I'm so excited. I'm like the biggest kid when I get front nails. It's like ridiculous. I'm instantly four. Not that I'm not four typically because I really am pretty much all the time, but especially, <gasps> shut up when I get gifts. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is freaking amazing. Zoom, zoom, stitch. This is awesome. I can put my key in there. And right now I'm seriously, Hold on, I'm gonna hit pause and show you what my, my house key's in right now, but it's going to be stitched. Hold on just a sec. Okay, I'm back. I had to run upstairs and get my car, well, my key ring with all my keys um, out of my purse. But um, yeah, this is my crazy. I have my Nugs and Nut Drugs Dollar Tree lanyard, my Dollar Tree Black Puff, my Dollar Tree um, Olaf, and my crazy, all my card thingers. My car keys, this is my car key, this is my mom's car key. Can't put it on those, unfortunately, because they're ginormous. But, oh, and this I didn't show. When I did my, um, what's in my, what's in my bag haul, not, not bag haul, but what's in my, um, what's in my purse video, what's in my bag video, I showed you, I think, everything on my key ring, but I neglected to show you guys this. This is a teeny tiny Mickey head with a letter S. This is in memory of my Spencer, who is my kitty cat that I, unfortunately, we had to put him down in September 12th, on September 12th of 2012. He is still such a joy just in my heart. He's always in my heart. I miss him every day, but I adore my cat and I felt awful that I forgot to show you guys this. So this stays on my key ring all the time. But anyway, that is my monkey that is housing my house key, pun intended, at the moment. But I'm sorry, monkey. 
we are going to have to give you up for a little while to replace you with stitch. And of course, I just did my nails yesterday, so I'm going to completely fuck them up. But please appreciate before I take this off or before I mess them up, I should say. This is funny, and I know I'm on a tangent again. But um, yesterday, I got a notification on my Facebook about a promotion that was running for a nail polish brand called Zoya, which was one of my favorite brands. I mean, I guess they still are. I have feelings about Zoya as a company now that I don't really want to get into. I don't love them as a company like I used to, but I do still love their polishes. They're really well made. They're awesome quality. And um, the, the short version of this story is that six years ago, they ran a promotion where for the price of shipping, $6.95, you could choose three polishes for free. At the time, I think Zoya's sold for about, I want to guess, maybe $8 a piece. I think they're up to like $10 a piece now, six years later, something like that. But anyway, I had posted that on my Facebook page because I had taken part in that promo and I wanted to let my friends know about it. And um, literally, like maybe two months before that, like around the holiday time, I guess, um, I had purged pretty much every nail polish I had, which at the time was maybe like 20. I just chucked them all. They were years and years old. I said, fuck this. I don't need these anymore. I haven't used them in forever. And then of course, like two months later, along comes this Soya promo. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll buy these nail polishes. And long story short, six years later, I probably have upwards of 1000 nail polishes. And before you go, oh my God, you're an ass. Why would you spend that kind of money on polish? I have to say that I have been writing a beauty blog for um, about six years. I started it probably a month or so after this Zoya promo, I'm guessing. And um, I uh, amassed many, 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 many polishes um, as a blog writer. I did get many, many for free from companies to review. So I certainly did not buy a thousand polishes, not even close. Um, okay, I gotta get this chain out to make sure he's perfectly aligned here. There we go. But that is how Stitch looks on there. I love him. He's so freaking cute. And this monkey always fits weird. Like, can you see how like where the hole is? Like the monkey would go lower on the key. So I always had to like finagle with the monkey to get the key to fit in the door properly. I have a feeling with this Stitch one, it's gonna work perfectly. As long as I can get this ball chain back through, which I should be able to do. Um, I'm in love with this, Jen. Oh my gosh. Um, I know I'm going on so many tangents, like more than I even usually do. And that's saying something because I go on a lot of tangents. But my point is, let me remember what my point was I was trying to make. Um, the very first Zoya polish I ever bought that rekindled my childhood and teenage love of polish was this very one I'm wearing right now, which is called Tallulah. All of Zoya's nail polishes are named, women's names. And, um, yeah, so in honor of the six-year anniversary of my nail polish obsession beginning again, and that's kind of dwindled. I mean, once you own a thousand nail polishes, there's really not much else that you need <laughs> or, or desire. Um, fuck, yeah, see, I told you I'd fuck one up. Can you see the big chip in the corner? But anyway, um, so I polished my nails with Tallulah in honor of that because I'm a nerd and whatever. I'm sentimental about everything, including nail polish. But now I'm much more into lip balm anyway. But look at how cute he looks on there. I am so excited. Thank you, Jen. And I'm sorry I have to get through all these crazy rambles just to see what my goodies are. But I don't know. I'm in a chatty mood today. I'm in a, actually a good mood. So I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. And there's something else in here too. And I think I know what this is because Jen had mentioned something that she was going to spin. So I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Let me see, let me see. And she wrapped this one in pretty green tissue. I'm such a kid, I'm like an infant. <gasps> yes, it is exactly what I thought, I'm so stoked. Jen and I both, um, opens the Disney Symptom Advent Calendars this year. Um, this was Jen's very first Advent Calendar she'd ever done in her life. I'd done like the little cheesy chocolate ones, and I shouldn't say cheesy because, I mean, chocolate's delicious and they're fun. But to open a calendar where you actually get an object besides candy that's gone two seconds later that you can keep is super, super fun to me. And I had done one two or three years ago. It was a Lego Star Wars calendar, and I had such a blast with it. My husband and I found it at the Lego store. And um, on Christmas Day, 
I think it was Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. Some advent calendars go to the 25th, some the 24th. The um, Tsum Tsum ones only went to the 24th. But um, we got Darth Vader Santa, which was like, ah, okay, I'm hooked. So anyway, I got my calendar as a gift from my dear friend, Billy. It was the Target exclusive one that was in a the shape of a, um, a tree. And the one that Jen bought was... Um, they sold at Toys R Us and also at Walmart, and that one was shaped like a gingerbread house. And though they had some repeating Tsum Tsums, um, none of them were came on the same day, and a lot of them were different. Some had slight variations, but the point is, the gist here that I will get to is that somebody's calendar came with my other favorite besides Stitch character, Eeyore, and somebody's didn't, and mine did not, and Jen's did, and because she is an absolute angel, she sent me Eeyore! I am so freaking happy. How cute is he? And I know that Jen really loved this Eeyore too. So I am just so beyond touch that she sent this to me. I can't even stand it. He comes with this adorable scarf and you can take it off. So you can just have, you know, Eeyore au natural. And there's this little pinned on tail. I love him. His hair is so cute. His face is so depressed and sad and I can relate to him so much but I love him. And here is his little scarf back on again. And unlike mine, uh, the scarves tended to fit really, really tightly on the Tsum Tsums. And my, um, my chip got really scratched and fucked up because I put the scarf on him. So, but he's perfect. He's absolutely perfect. And the scarf is loose enough that you could take it on and off without ruining him. And I love him. And I wouldn't even care if he was scratched because he is Eeyore and he's from Jen and I love him so much. And I'm so freaking stoked right now, Jen. You have no idea. Um, again, you guys, please, please, please check out Jen's channel. If you're on my channel, chances are you found her channel because hers is way better than mine. And, um, but she's fabulous. She's an awesome, awesome person person beetle babe check her out i will put the link in the drop box as well but um yeah she's an awesome person thank you so much i heart you jen you're amazing you just made my day so so much better i was in a great mood to begin with again i have no idea why i um before i shot this my husband made us a delicious lunch and i had just gotten home before that from doing a few errands and i'd just been done before that with my three-hour volunteer shift at um, a local animal rescue. It's called Pets for Love. Check us out online, pets, pets the number four, L-U-V, dot org. I believe, I hope that's our website, but anyway, you should check us out. It's a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous rescue. I've been volunteering there, as I said, three hours a week. I do Wednesdays from 11 to 2 um, since... December 2nd of 2015. So I just celebrated my one year anniversary there last month and it's just such a wonderful place and I have so much fun there and um, it's actually made me a lot less fearful of dogs because I've never had a dog before. I've had cats since I was 12 with gaps in between from the time I was 18 until I was 20. All right, I want to say 26 I didn't have a pet and up until 12 I only had like goldfish and stuff but I've had four cats total in my life two have passed on unfortunately the aforementioned Spencer and um Barfield who I had from when I was 12 till till I was 18 unfortunately back then like people weren't so aware as they are now about the importance of keeping cats indoor only I mean I know everybody has different beliefs about this and it certainly depends on what part of the country you live in like maybe you know I don't know if you're in a really really rural area you feel okay letting your cats outside I don't know it's your personal opinion I don't think any cat should be let outside but that's just my thought but anyway he was hit by a car and killed at the young age of approximately six I mean I don't know how old he was when we got him he was a rescue and he was actually found by our neighbors in another state in an alley behind an Italian restaurant swear to God and he was orange so we named him Garfield obviously I didn't have input in that I was 12 but I mean it fit but anyway, um, I've been a cat lover my whole life, but um, the shelter has opened me up so much to appreciating and loving dogs more and not being so afraid of them, so that's fabulous. And I generally come home from the shelter in a better mood than I went. Um, it helps with my depression a lot. Um, I think I've shared with you guys that I'm not able to work. I haven't been since 2007. Um, in terms of my mental state, it's just too much for me. Um, it sucks because we could use the money and obviously it would probably be better for me 
to feel like a functioning member of society if I could work, but I've just not been able to do that. So this three hours a week where I know I'm committed to doing something, it's a, like a nice way to ease myself back into the world. So, um, so yeah, so I've been doing that, but, um, yeah, I know so many rambles, but again, thank you so, 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 so much Jen for my gifties. I love them again. You guys, this adorable stitch bracelet, the fabulous Eeyore and oh, my amazing, amazing stitch key cover. I love him so much. Oh, he's all tangled up already, but yeah, I love him so much. He's so freaking cute. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this, you guys. I can't say enough. Please, please, please sub Jen's channel because she's awesome. She's way better at this than I am. She's been doing this a long time. I just realized the other day that I only launched my channel on April 2nd of last year. It's kind of amusing. And the reason I find it amusing is because... My sweet friend's LBA, Lip Balm Addict, um, launched her channel one day before. And I found that out because we're friends on Instagram and Facebook and all that good stuff. Hi, sweetie, if you're watching. I don't even know if she's subbed to me, to be honest, because my channel is so ghetto compared to hers. But um, she launched her channel exactly one day before me, and she's literally like busted well past 50,000 subs, which is like mind boggling. I think I just passed 350 yesterday, not 350,000, 350 yesterday. But, um, but anyway, um, LBA, God, what the fuck was I saying? Now I lost my train of thought completely. Oh, but no, but she had mentioned that she started her channel on April 1st. And I knew in one of her earlier videos that I had found, I had commented like, you know, because she was not initially showing her face on camera, neither was I, and she was disguising her voice with a voice-altering, like, you know, techie thing that she's, like, way smarter than me and knew how to do. And, um, like, people were pressuring her, do a face reveal, do a face reveal, and she was like, no, you know, I don't want to do that yet. And I made a joke to her, you know, like, honey, I started my channel right around the same time as you, and we could just be, like, the Sia's of YouTube and, like, never show our faces. And obviously we both do now, but, um... But it's just remarkable to me <laughs> that we started our channels literally one day apart and she's at 50,000 plus subs and I'm at 350, I think one as of yesterday. But it's not a competition. I mean, she's awesome. She, you know, deserves all the kudos she gets. She's a sweet, sweet girl and she does awesome reviews and um, I don't know, she, she, she works a lot harder at this than I do. <laughs> She's like really good with technology and editing and music and graphics and she's like 13 years old and she's so much smarter than I am at 43. God, it just occurred to me, I'm literally 30 years older than you, LVA. That's crazy, girl, crazy. But anyway, um, so yeah, like her mom is probably even younger <laughs> than me, but I love her, she's a doll. But anyway, um, no, my point was though that I've only been doing this since April of last year and um, I'm not all that great at it. I don't have the, the smarts that she does. I don't have good technology. I'm just shooting on a Samsung, you know, Samsung phone that's not even like a brand, like not even a model you would have heard of because it's like the ghetto one that like they have like demo models, I think, in the store and they don't actually like legit sell to like the public at large. It's like when you come in and you're like, I want an upgrade, but you know, I don't really have any money. So like, well, you can make payments on this one. And it's like the cheapest like upgrade we have and yada yada. That's what I'm shooting on. I suck at lighting. I don't know how to edit. What you see is what you get. I know how to pause, but that's about it. But anyway, yeah, I don't even know where I was originally going with this other than that LVA and I start our channels a day apart. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. Train of thought derailed, whatever. But um, anyway, but check out her channel too. Not that I have to tell you because I'm sure you're probably all sub to her already. If you're into lip balm at all, which is obviously the pretty much main focus of her channel and one of the focuses of mine, I'm sure you're already sub to her because I mean, please, who isn't? But um, anyway, shout out to my girls LBA and to Jen. Um, again, thank you so, 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 so much. And I am going to shut the fuck up now because this has gone on way longer than it should have. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up if you liked this. It does really mean a lot to me when you take the time to do that. And when you leave positive comments, it's just, I do acknowledge every single comment with a, at the very least a like or a love. I like that there's a love option now. That's pretty cool. I tend to be like a lover or a fighter and, um, 
like fighting, like not physical fighting, but like verbal sparring, I'm pretty good at. But um, if you don't piss me off, I'm pretty much gonna love you forever. And you know, I'm like a very huggy person in real life. And that's just how I am. Like I, my sign off of things is generally XO or the double XOXO. But um, I will respond to you. I will at the very least like your comments. So please keep leaving them. It means a lot. I don't care if you like write five things. If you comment like throughout the video, like on different things, I love when people do that because I tend to do that too. Like I can't save my thoughts till the end. Like I have to comment in the moment when I think of something and then I just keep commenting throughout. And I hope that doesn't bother other people because it doesn't bother me at all. If you want to comment 10 times as long as you're not spamming me, that's totally cool because spam will be deleted. Negative comments will be deleted I think that goes without saying but life's too short to sweat Twitter and Twitter yeah this is not Twitter this is YouTube what I mean is life is too short to sweat social media stuff I probably said Twitter because subconsciously Twitter is like one of the most brutal forms of social media I think because it's so public that people just feel like they can be asshats as much as they want and there's no repercussions karmically there are so don't be an ass but okay i'm gonna shut up now <laughs> thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll be shooting another video immediately after this after i drink a little bit of water for my parched throat because i haven't shut up yet and i'll show you the new t-shirt uh, i just got from tea turtle okay love you guys see you soon bye